Okay, well, this is the fourth time I've tried to do this video. <laughs> and there is people working on the house next door with one of those extender ladders, and every time they it up and it down, the adults went wackadoodle because they're very, very, very overly protective when there's babies around. So, we'll see if we can get this done this time. Uh, Leo, the vet checks, health checks, all went wonderfully. Everybody is perfect. And um, all of the little boys have their things in the right places. This is made for children, so we don't want to say anything like that. But if you were going to get your male neutered, it would be uh, a different story if one of the gonads had stayed up. So it's always nice to know that they're where they're supposed to be. And everybody checked out great. Um, Milo is 3.4 pounds. Tilly is 3 pounds. Fergus is 4.2 pounds. Leo is 3.8 pounds. Um, Barry's little guy is 3.8 pounds. And Patrick and Christy's little girl... Oh, I got that backwards. Barry's little guy is 3.6 pounds. And Patrick and Christy's little girl is 3.8 pounds. So they all took their needle really well. Nobody really cried out in pain or anything. They do do a little whimper sometimes, but none of them really did that this time, which is really nice because I feel so guilty holding them down while they're getting a needle. And just so you know, um, they get their needle <laughs> right about there between the shoulder blades. And uh, you need to, uh, well, you don't need to, but if you're petting them in a, and you feel a bump right there in about two to four weeks, um, it will be from the vaccination. They get, after a couple of weeks, they get a bump there, and, and it takes a little bit for it to go away, but it's perfectly normal. Don't uh, bother doing anything to it or overly rubbing it or, or anything. And now uh, the puppies are drink, they drink only sassy water. That's sassy spring water. So when you get your puppy home, if you're changing the water to a different water, th that can give them a little bit of a loose bubble for a day or, or so. Not diarrhea. Just not uh, dry, firm, hard kind of thing. And if you change their food, try to get a small bag of the From Puppy Gold and mix it with, like, give them the From Puppy Gold first and gradually add your kind into it. It really should take anywhere from two to three weeks to switch them completely over because if you do it too quickly, you will give them a uh, GI upset. And Mikey actually went through that when I brought him home from Etobicoke because 
we didn't have any of the food. We didn't get a puppy package from them at all. And I asked her, you know, what's the name of the puppy food that you use? She goes, oh, I don't even remember that. Isn't that weird? So I, which was really beyond me. I have no clue how, how you can not know what kind of puppy food you use. <laughs> but uh, it took about a week and a half to almost two weeks before his GI settled down. Because he got such um, a reaction, kind of like a, a, a belly ache, from the change of food. Okay, Fergus, stop. And he ended up with really bad diarrhea. He was from Etobicoke. So it was not only a water change, it was a food change. And I ended up having to do two 18-hour sessions where he was not allowed to eat. The vet wanted me to do a whole 24-hour session. I said, I can't do that. He's... Um, I was told he was eight weeks, but I'm pretty sure he was only about five weeks. He couldn't really even walk. And there are some people out there that uh, just pop off puppies, 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 puppies. And I think that's where, where Mikey came from. So... He, he was really small. He, he um, wasn't walking like this at all. I have pictures of him. He's a little, he's about the size of the remote control when I brought him home. So he was actually billed as a, a, a very small puppy he his dad is I did see his dad I did see a dog that was supposed to be his dad and she did have pictures on the ad on Kijiji and his his four siblings were Brindle but I wanted Mikey he was just so cute plus he was the tiniest and uh, he's just been perfect but we had a lot a lot of work to do with him to get his GI to settle down. He was on, uh, if your puppy ever gets really upset belly and um, if your puppy gets an upset belly, diarrhea, obviously you should take them to the vet as soon as possible. But sometimes you can't do that and you need to do stuff on your own just like you do with your child. Uh, if, they're, um, if your child isn't holding any food down and diarrhea, you take their food away and give them straight fluids. Well, with puppies, dogs, uh, the best thing to do is if you can restrict all food for 24 hours. Give them water, of course, but all food for 24 hours just so everything can flush out of his system. But if you can't do that, boiled chicken boiled chicken breast because it's very plain there's no oil in it it's not seasoned you just boil it and give them a little bit of that with some plain white rice I use long grain I don't use minute rice or anything like that the quick stuff 
So uh, it makes a difference as to how easily it's swallowed as well. So that is a good thing. Now, if your pet seems to be constipated, having or really hard, compact bowel movements, the trick for that is a little bit of pumpkin. Not too much because you'll give them diarrhea. But a little bit of pumpkin will loosen their bowels. I've never had to give that to mine. And Mikey is the only one who went through um, pro any kind of problems whatsoever with food. She did say that she was uh, going to provide me with a small bag of food, and I did bring some of ours down there, but I didn't bring enough. And when I gave it to him... He ate it right away, very quickly, like he was starving. And she didn't give me any, so I didn't have anything else to give him. And I stopped at the corner store and grabbed whatever they had. So he went from eating his food to eating our food to eating whatever I could find at the corner store and then coming back here and back to our food again. So he really did get uh, a lot of different food all at once, which really confused his his gastrointestinal system. And But I, I really, really can't stress it enough how important it is to, if you're not going to keep them on the puppy food that they're on to at least buy one of the small bags and wean them off. The bag I give you is only good for a couple days, like two, three days food max. That is not enough to wean them onto your food. But if you do, you know, that's okay too. Just so you know, you might have a little bit of uh, diarrhea happening with it. And again, with the change of water, it could happen just because of that. One of my sons, when he was a baby, we went and visited the in-laws regularly in uh, Minneapolis and St. Paul. Uh, uh, Mom and a few siblings and a sister lived in Minneapolis and two sisters lived in St. Paul. So we'd go and we'd visit them and I ended up having to bring our own water because, well, he was still in a diaper, so it was before he was two years old. Um... And uh, before his sister was born, so it was before, definitely before he was two years old. And uh, he would get diarrhea every time we went to the States, change, and he would get any of their water, just a water change. So I ended up bringing water with us, so... You know, it happens to people, it happens to your animals as well. You can see they're doing really well. They all traveled really well too, which is another bonus. Susie gets car sick. And they, they didn't know the people that had her as a, in the litter, didn't know that until they took her to the vet for their uh, first vaccination and checkup, and she was sick the whole way. Now, she's from Innisfil, the other side of Barrie, 20 minutes away from Barrie, so she was medicated all the way back up here, and she was still pretty sick. None of these guys have ever had any of that. Of course, these aren't hers or any or related to her either. 
and none of her puppies that I know of get motion sickness either. Now, it's not motion sickness because I have a, an adult tricycle and a, a two-wheeler. The two-wheeler, I have a, a trailer, a, a pet trailer carrier, and she's okay in that, and she's okay sitting on the back of my tricycle. Yes, I'm a senior, <laughs> but... I can ride both. It's just easier to sit down on the tricycle. Too many broken bones as I was in my 30s, so. <laughs> but she's good at that kind of motion. She's good at being carried. I have a, a they call it a garden cart. It's collapse, fold upable, collapsible, and it's got a a roof that I can put on it as well. And we go for walks. So sometimes Sarah gets tired. Of course, uh, she was a, wasn't quite a year old when she'd get tired and she'd want to get in. And Parker, he, he'd do okay, but he's a little guy too. So he not, wasn't, into walking any great distance and if one of them one of the girls are pregnant or anything like that or if they just get tired or if they just get hot I bring the wagon so and I also bring water for them um, the feces bags and a, a blanket so we can stop every once in a while and She's okay with that kind of motion too, but as soon as you put her in a vehicle, we're not even to the stoplight, and I'm only four houses down from the stoplight, and she's already starting to drool, so that does happen with dogs. I didn't know it was as prevalent as, well, as difficult, I mean, for dogs as it is, because she gets very, she has thrown up, she gets very thick saliva, drooling. But again, she's not related to any of these. And none of Shelby's and Mikey's have ever had anything like that. Neither have they. I really do try to pass on as much knowledge as I can to everybody watching because the easier it is for you, the easier it is for your fur baby and the happier everybody is. I've actually only had two people that ended up coming back and saying this wasn't a good idea. And they happened to be related. They're more of a cat and or gerbil family because, you know, uh, your fur baby is going to take time and attention, whereas a cat really doesn't always. Cats are a lot more independent. And a lot of other animals are caged, contained. So a, pu a puppy is a lot more work, too. Whereas cats, you show them the litter box, and that's where they go all the time. Puppies are not like that. They're a three-year-old little toddler for the rest of their life. So they're a lot more work, and some people don't realize that. 
So I try to give everybody as much knowledge as I can so that it's easy for them. But I must stop rambling on because the door's going to go ding-dong. I just see somebody pulling out and the dogs are going to start barking. So everybody have a great day.